Good morning. Thank you for joining us for Motion in Tai Chi again. Today, we're going to talk about the third movement, Lam Chan Yi. And before we do that, actually, we have to talk about how uh, joints are supposed to be, especially on the hip side. Uh, compared with Chen's Tai Chi 400 something years ago, actually, there is a gap between nowadays people's interpretation and for before. Now today people talk about Tai Chi is relaxing. Actually, there's a misconception. Tai Chi is Kung Fu. It's not relaxing. However, it's do it in very well coordinated. That's why you can imagine it's like a, like a whip. Uh, iron rod, if you have two points, it becomes like a nunchuck. But if a thousand points, it becomes a whip. But it doesn't change the material. At the same time, it's still iron. This is exactly the concept of how you're supposed to turn. Very detailedly, we would like to think about how the joint to coordinate and how to practice, practice them in movement in the whole section together. Now, today, the movement we are focusing on the hip. Why is because our upper body actually is leading by these two joints. Now, the joint that we are meaning later on, I'm going to talk about by rotating the hip and relaxing the hip, it doesn't mean that you're relaxing like this. Ancient time, they talk about relaxing. It's actually not tensing. So your body shouldn't be relaxing. When I talk about relax, it means that not tense. So that is the interpretation actually in English. Now we're going to talk about Lam Chai Di and it's about the hip movement. How you're supposed to rotate. At the time the rotation, as you turn, this two movement is actually your knee is not moving that much. Now, if you're going to balance yourself right in the middle, you will find that essentially you cannot tense your hip or your butt at the back, your waist at the back. You'll be able to feel that actually these two hip joint is very easy to move. Now, by rotating, it means that not sitting down and floating it. It means that you have a sense of not tensing this part, your body will be moving to this side. And not tensing that part, your body is not, is rotating very easy on the other side. So as in Chinese, we call it zipua. It means that rotating is physically you're doing it, but you're not forcefully trying to do that. You actually, by the time you're doing this, you just relax your hip and it will go from one side. Relaxing this side and then switch your body weight to the other leg, you will go into floating this side. <clears throat> so this is a basic concept of doing this. Now, we are going to talk about the first hand, how we balance it. Last time we end up our movement by gum gong do jui, your hand is going the second movement, ending up with both toe is pointing to the front. You have to remember, try not to lean forward or else you're gonna hurt your knee. If you're going to stick out your butt, you're gonna hurt your back. You tuck in too much, you stop your mobility. So your body is actually, your body weight mainly on your heel. You're trying to have your leg feel that on both side balance. Now, imagine there's a hook putting up your backbone and lifting up your body up like this out. And then that in that way, you will be very easy to control and then the mobility of this two hip. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how this movement is first in front of you. This is like a mirror. Now the hand is going to go on this way. Now, this is a movement, but you don't have to get it too, too low. Now, let's try to go through in details. First thing, we, first of all, we're going to look into our horse, our horse stand. Originally, our leg is pointing <clears throat> towards the front. Now, our first movement is your uh, right toe go outside tiny little bit, just tiny little bit. I mean, this is your left, actually. You switch your body weight, to one side and then rotating your hip. 
Now, this rotation is not really floating into it. You just relax it. And you relax it, not tensing it, you will find a uh, rotation. And your knee is not going to go up and down like this. So you're rotating. Once your head, hit, heel align in a straight line, rotate this, you will be able to lift up your leg without distraction of the center point. Now, this is exactly what you're going to do. Now, one, open up a little bit, switch your body weight a little bit, moving this hip up a little bit and your leg go up and using your heel to open up. Now, your open up is in a straight line to go, not in the front, not to the back. So after you do that, you open up your hip a little bit more, let your leg to go out, using the heel to go down. Now switch your body weight. Now, by the time you switch your body weight, there's a lot of way you go side to side. It's very hard for your side ligament. So actually we, and it's a traditional martial art uh, practitioner. <clears throat> by the time you practice, your leg to go back and forward or switch your body weight, you're supposed to move your knee forward or backward. Now, imagine if I'm going to stand in the middle, you can try it too as well. If you move this side in the forward, automatically you switch your body weight to the front, but you're not leaning forward. You just have your knee moving towards this side and then my body weight switching on this side now. Now moving this knee to the front and relaxing the other side, you will move on the other side. Now that's exactly how I mean by switching the body weight. It's not switching side to side, but instead it's because of your knee movement and switch your body weight towards that side. And at the time you're doing it, your hip should not be tense. Then you will have the rotation on the side way to doing it. Okay, I hope that it will give you some idea how you're supposed to rotating your hip and what is a sense of, what's the meaning of relaxation, okay? Now, <clears throat> we do... <coughs> oh, thank you, cut your ear to I'll do editing. Now, we're going to try to do it one more time. Ready? From here, we go one, a little bit out, two, going up a little bit, three, rotating it, four, going up, five. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time, ready? One, two, three. And this they come back, four, five. Now in this set, in this part, is about 70% force on this side, 30% on the other side. That's the ending pose. <clears throat> Let's do it one more time, ready? One, two, not too much, three, up at the same time, four. Now I'm going to turn around. Now imagine that I'm standing in front of you and then you can follow my position and how to do it together. Ready? Ending pose. Move this toe a tiny little bit. One, two, three, four. Now, re remember, I told you not to lean forward. So not trying to use your knee to go up. If you feel pain in the front part, it means that your body is leaning too much at the, in the front. At the same time, this hip is not tilting on either side, it's in the middle and your back straight. And try to imagine there is some uh, hook holding your backbone so that you won't slouch or leaning forward. Let's practice one more time. Ready? One, two, three and four. One last time, ready? One, two, three, and four. Okay, I think everyone get it. Now the next one we're gonna do is upper body, is upper hand. <clears throat> the hand part is going to be containing the hand 
originally from here. We switch our body weight from here and then go up and then closing. The first exercise I would like you to practice is actually not the movement, but instead of the chest open up and close. Now, by meaning of it, is actually the body won't go too much like this out. Now, this is a hyper um, extension. It means that you open too wide. You're gonna hurt your muscle and ligament on this side. What does it imply in the real life that actually you will have a problem like this? If you open the door like this one, you have no problem. But if you open the door like open like up like this way, you, you know that you're going to actually pull your muscle. If you're pulling something at close to your body, have no problem. But if you're pulling something like this out, you're gonna hurt yourself. So what we are trying to do is in more natural way and to avoid injury. The more you practice in the form, the more easier you get your muscle memory, you won't hurt yourself. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is actually not doing anything else with your leg, but to practice upper chest. Your hand will have a movement open up like this out. Now, this hand is in front of me. And then afterward, you close the body like this out. Now, at the time you close, it's not just in front of the side like this out. At the same time you close, also your upper hand go closer to yourself. And then afterward, you open it up and then you close to inside yourself. This is a way that how you're going to go open and close. Now, if we're going to do one side, your body is actually open up and close. Open up and close this way. How are we going to do it in this upper body? Our original hand is like this way. This is your right hand, we go from here. Now this hand is not going to be in front of you like this. You're supposed to relaxing on the side and don't hold it up like this neither. Your hand is actually relaxing like this way. The first movement is your hand turn out a little bit like this up. This hand is actually in front on the side instead of you going up and one side at the back. The second thing, I don't, I don't worry about the body turning and all the stuff. Let's do it one step at a time. So first thing is one, and then afterward, open your chest up, two, and then three, on the top like this out. One more time, your hands go from here. Here's one, two, and three on the top. <clears throat> One more time. One, two, three on the top. Now this hand, actually you see me turn time a little bit because this one is my hip leading my body to move. But if I'm not moving at all, you will see my hand is actually going up sideways and open up on the, <clears throat> on the bigger and closing back. It's only the rotation will make my hand side to side like this out. So my hand from here, I go one, my hand goes out, and then my chest open, leading my hand open up two, and then my chest closed, and then leading my hand to go forward like this out, and we put our hand down here. Very easy to remember. Let's try to do it one more time. One, two, three, and down. Now, your left hand is supposed to be on the top, your right hand is supposed to be at the bottom. <clears throat> Let's try to do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Now, how does it coordinate with your leg together? Let's try to do it together. Ready? Now, your hand put it down here first. Remember to open your leg first. Now we open our leg, our body turn a little bit. That's why our hand, you look like you, I'm putting on the side, but actually it's in the center. And switch my body weight, my hands open, and then rotating my hip, my hands goes up, and then I open up my leg and my hand down. One more time, ready? One. Two, three, four. Can follow it one more time. Ready? One, two, 
three and four. Now, one last time. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to turn around, you're going to follow me. Just imagine <clears throat> I'm standing in front of you. Ready? One, two, three, and four. One more time. Ready? One, two, three, and four. One last time. Ready? One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> now, how the front hand supposed to be? I would like you to follow me to do exercise like this first, to put the hands up. Now that's the first step that you need to do. Second thing, you put down your hand and just turn it like this out. So your hand is in front of you like this. The second hand that you're gonna do is actually put the hand like this out. And then you're gonna put your hand from here and put the other hand on the top like this. Now be aware of this hand, don't slide down here. You just actually put it on the top of it and your hand will be like this way, not fatting like this. Your hand have to be turning. Okay, this hand is going to turning like this out. And then your hand put it right here. That's how you're going to do it this way. So basically your hand is going to go up like this way. Uh, sorry, your hand is going to go up like this way, right? And the end, I would like to have your hand like this in and then turning like that. And the other hand, as I say, like this out, this is your left hand. You're going to put in front of you, going to go like this here. Now, exactly where is this joint on the top and the angle, put it sideways. Okay. This is how you're going to turn it. One more time. This hand, take it together. The position, you turn it like this. The other hand is this position using this hand and combine them together, will be like this. Now, definitely do not put your hand up like this on the top, not bending on it, nor touching it like this. You put your hand a little bit force going towards outside in front of you like this. If you are, I'm standing in front of you, my hand is actually on the side, not in front of me like this on the side. Okay, this is a way how you do it. Now, let's without the leg movement and use the hand to do it right. You put your hand like this out, it goes up. One, two, Three, now this time don't just cross it and then lift it up here. You can adjust it. Okay, one more time. Your hand from here, open up. Two, three, and then close it. Now edge, do the checking. Put your hand here to see if too much on the side. If you've done it on the side, make sure in the center. And this hand the same, just put it on the top of here. Very simple. Now I'm going to show you how I do it in front of you like a mirror, so easier for you to follow. Don't, don't do it, just watch me. Okay, now follow me. I won't do it though so low. You don't need to do it so low. Just move, make sure that the coordination of your leg and hand together first. Now put your hand here right now. Bend your leg a little bit. Open your toe. Switch your body weight. And then open. Open your leg. And then put it down here like this out. 
Now in front of me, but my hip is actually turning a little bit so that the misconception on a visual, like seems like I'm putting my hand on this side, but actually it's in front of me, but I turn my body a little bit like this. Okay, very simple. One more time, ready? Put my hand like this out. Turn your toe, switch your body weight, open it up. And then one more time, that's good. One more time, ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm not in the middle. Actually, my body weight is still over here. It means that my leg go out, I can always pull my leg back. If you switch it in the center and you have to switch your body weight and go up, okay? So we're trying to lean on this side first. I know there's a lot more details, one step at a time. Okay, as I'm going to turn around and you can follow me with your hand together, it's a lot more easier. Ready? One, two, three, four. As we see, my hand is like this. Okay, one more time. Ready? One, two, three, and four. One more time. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Now we're close to the last part now. How to do that? It's very simple. Now your hand switch your body weight on this side and then you go down, right? So your hand, how do you coordinate with it? By the time you're starting to switch, you don't turn yet. You don't need to move too much. Your hand just move it naturally up. By the time you turn your hip, you switch it and using your body to turn this hand to turn it this way. Not just open it up, your hand is actually turn it this way. Now, turn it one more time. By the time you turn, you open it up like this. Seems like something pushing you here and you rotating your hand, try to get it away. Instead of lifting your shoulder. If you lift your shoulder, you're gonna hurt your neck. But if someone pushing you here, you just turn it like this out, then you will bounce the force out. So that's why we use the hand to turn like this way. One more time, turn it this way. Now we want to come back, we turn it back. That's right, one more time. Turn and then back. Simple, right? Turn and back. Now, my hand didn't turn on the side. I actually rotated my body. So it's turning by rotating and turning by rotating it back. Okay, you will find this a little bit tired. That's normal. If you find it's pain in anywhere else, it's not normal. So you put your hands up like this out, you slowly turn. Anything you lift up to your shoulder too much, this is not right. So a lot of people have do it wrong and by lifting your elbow up, that is wrong. Your hand is actually rotating your hand like this, just like high. Then is right. You don't you don't say high like this, right? So your hand just say high. And then you put your hand down to shake the hand. Okay, one more time. Hello. Nice to meet you. That is the way. So one and two. Now you complete your right hand. Congratulations. Just open it up and shaking hand. Ready. One more time. One and two. Easy, right? Now this hand on the other way, you switch your body weight on the side, just open it up and hmm, like this. Now, not in the front, at the back, just like 
it's ending up like this. And this one is using the so-called Fu Hao, a tiger mouth, holding your waist like this out. Why? This one have a usage. This one just comfortable. Uh, no special reason. We can use it like this. And this elbow have a reason. But this one just put it right here and relax your shoulder. So your hand will be like this out. We're rotating our hand on up, holding your hand here, underneath here, and then pulling it over to the side. Now, do not bend your hand like this. Try to expand as much as possible. Now, this point, this point, and this point, you align in a straight line, but not this point. You don't go this point like this, no, I drop it down like this. So just one, two, three, like a straight line. Okay, one more time. Ready? You turn and open and then out. Now, at the beginning, I teach you how to just turn, but at the time when we're doing it, have a motion of closer together. So your hand is actually going up a little bit first. Then you're rotating it up and then holding hand down. Yes, but the hand movement down, extend your hand as much as possible without stiffing it. That's very good. Now let's try to practice together in this way. Your hand close like this out, switch the body weight on one side, on the other side, open up, your hand go from here. Now my body weight is on my right leg and my hands go out. One more time, your hand from here, holding it. One, two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, and four. Now, try not to do it like this. Then that is a wrong way of doing it. It's exaggeration. So your hand is actually one, two, three, and down. One last time. Ready? One, two, three, and down. All right. Let's combine everything and do it together. Your hand down like this out. Leg out one first, switch the body weight up, and then open it out and down with your hip. Body weight is on this leg. Now one, go back here, two, your hand down here, three, and four. All right, very good. One more time, ready, one, Two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. All right. Now, don't drop your hand like this out. Your arm supposed to be in the front. Now, this hand is not on sideways. This hand is actually in front of you. With your palm extend, like what we taught you before, extend your hand naturally. Let's do it one more time. Ready? From here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, that's good. So someone have sent a question. What is it? How high the top hand? You mean which hand? How high this one is or how high this one is? Let's talk about both. By the time we put our hands up, it's natural relaxing position. You don't go like this high. By the time we go like this up, or sideways like this up, never go above your head. This movement is actually using for blocking. 
or someone suddenly comes in, you hold your hand up like this out. So, or anything coming to your face, you just put your hand on the side, but nothing to do with on the top of your head. I don't care anything about it. So anything on the side or anything on the side, why we have to go not on sideway is because you block sideway, you're going to hurt yourself. Anything go in front of me, I go sat in front of me. This is a circle. Oh, this is a circle. Tai Chi doesn't fight slow. We practice slow so that we have more time, allow us to adjust and increase the exercise level. So that you get low your horse, you will be using your own body weight instead of any other external, uh, external equipment to make your leg stronger. You do it slow so that you have time to practice the coordination. That is the reason, okay? Let's practice uh, the whole thing together. Ready? One, two, not too high. Three, not too low, low lighter. Four, one, two, three, and four. Now, don't put your hand up like this out. This hand, suppose on the shoulder level. That's right. If you put up here, very hard. If you go like this, doesn't protect yourself. Hand extend like as much as possible, like you're stretching yourself. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around. Let's practice like this way. Ready? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. One, one last time and we're going to do the whole form. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now, there's one tiny little movement that I haven't told you. It's a secret trick. It's the last part of your toe. Now take a look at, the, at it. If you do the front properly, this is a critical point by coming back in. Why? It's because at the time you get really close to the people. And then by the time you turn your body like, like this out with this track is lower balance. This is the trick. Don't tell anyone. So the hand is going to go up like this out. You see my toe is up like this. Switch my body weight. And then we go up and then open our leg like this. Switch your body weight. Now, by the time here, you see my toe like this. At the time my hand goes up, actually my toe will move in at the same time. And then we open. So that is the trick. Remember that. Once you upper body, you can remember it. Then you can coordinate the lower part. However, your toe didn't move by itself. It's a whole body movement. So by the time you come in, and then this hand comes out, it's a together movement, okay? So remember that part. Now, anyone have any question, you can feel free to text us. If I don't remember the first section, uh, you can go back later on for the video. However, my student just forgot to record the whole section. He started by the time we over here. Don't worry, I'm going to record it again after this class and I'm quit the first section for you. But we're only going to cover uh, the open the leg movement, okay? It won't have the review from last class. If you have any review, you would like to remember it, you can go to the first video. No more questions, then we're going to start for the whole form. Now, at the beginning, I'm going to do it in front of you so it'll be easier. This is like a mirror to you, okay? Ready? We close our leg together, bend the leg, not too much, and lift up this side a little bit. Now open it up on the side and switch your body weight. Your hands go up. At the time you go up, you bend down tiny a little bit. And then you go down again, rotating your hip up, open your hip, 
open your hip, it means that this leg is not distracted. You all just open it up and turn. Switch your body weight. Turn your hip, put your leg together. Open your leg and move your toe in front of you. Your chest open at the same time. Switch your body weight by turning your hip and then your leg go up. After your leg go up like this way, and then hands goes up and go down from here. Leg up and down. Switch your body weight, one, and then two, three, and then down. One, two, three, and then okay. down. Let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, one, and two. One, and open your toe, two. One, two, one, switch your body weight, two. One, your hip go down, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, and two. All right. Now I'm going to turn around. I'm going to do it with you together. Ready? From here, one, and two, one. And two, I'm gonna do it a little bit lower to be normal time I practice, but you don't have to go so low with me. Open your hip up, down, in, and down. One, two, up, and down, up, and down. One, two, up, and down. One, and two, and three, and down. Okay, now I'm going to do a higher horse for so that you can follow up with it. You don't have to push it so low. One more time. One and two. Ready, right? And up and two. One and two. And one and two. Down and open up and turn the hip and your hand follow up and down up and down one two one and two one and two now remember the toe one and two. All right, that concludes today's exercise. So if you have any question, please kindly message us. Uh, feel free to send us a message. If you have certain part you want to review uh, before the class for next time. And thank you again for participating. And thank you very much for your support. I'm looking forward to see you next week. Uh, the video, I hope that later on today, I will be finished editing and going towards the front. Thank you so much and have a nice weekend. See you next time.